When we started with the goodness of fit test, we saw how to use a chi square test for both Poisson distribution and exponential distribution. Now we'll see how to use Kolmogorov's Minot test for goodness of fit test to fit the data in a selected distribution. Uh, whenever we use chi square test, fine. Uh, the chi square test, what we do is uh, we use uh, class intervals. So when we use class intervals, definitely fine. So in chi square test, we use class intervals. If the class intervals are changed, definitely the frequency of that class interval will change. If the frequency changes, the value of the chi square will also changes. Hence, based on the width of the class intervals, acceptance or rejection of the null hypothesis happens where in chi square test. Fine. To avoid this problem, fine. So what we'll do is we use KS test that is called as Kolmogorov Smirnov test for checking what type of distribution now we are considering here the exponential distribution. If any data is exponentially distributed in the range that is 0 to t, fine. So we are going to consider the data, fine. So whatever the data we are going to consider, that data has to be exponentially distributed within a time interval. The range of time interval that we are going to consider is what? 0 comma t. With the values, fine, t1, t2, t3 and so on because it is exponential and the range must be within the interval. What is the interval? 0 comma t. Then they have to be cumulatively added as fine t1 comma then t1 plus t2 comma then t1 plus t2 plus t3 comma then t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 comma and so on. Fine. So when we studied um, uh, this uh, KS test and the uh, chi square test in chapter 3 during the randomness to test for randomness, there we saw these two tests they are used to check for the uniformity of random numbers. To check the uniformity of random numbers, what is the class interval we took? The class interval is what that is, okay, 0, 1. So it should be in the range of what? 0, 1. Fine. So here that is what we are doing. So here exponentially distributed in the range 0 to t where t represents what? That is some time interval. Fine. Now then the values are normalized for the range. What is the range now? 0 comma 1 by dividing each value of what? Each value by that is t. Fine. Because we want okay the values to be within the range. What is the range now? 0 comma 1. Fine, but the data is exponentially distributed within the time interval 0 comma t. So to normalize this data within this range of values, what we will be doing here, whatever the values we are going to consider, that value will be divided by what? Divided by t. Now the new set of values we have is what? t1 divided by t, then cumulatively add with the next value t1 plus t2 divided by t, then add with t1 plus t2 plus t3 divided by t and so on. OK, that follows what type of distribution following uniform distribution on these number. The KS test has to be performed as earlier. That is, has you people studied previously. So we are going to calculate D plus then D minus. Then from this we are going to OK, identify the maximum of these two values. Then after that, that will be checked with the critical value. Fine. So you already know how to calculate that is D plus value, D minus and D value. Fine. We'll take up a problem now. Suppose 20 inter arrival times are collected. So these are not random numbers. These are 20 interval arrival times are collected for 100 minutes. Fine. So 20 interval time are collected for 100 minutes. This is nothing but the value of T that is capital T. Fine intervals which are arranged in the order of occurrence. This is the order of occurrence. First number is uh, this one. The next is this and this and so on. Use case test. OK, case goodness of test to check whether the inter arrival time are exponential. Fine. So what type of distribution we are using? We are using exponential distribution. We need to check whether it is exponential distribution or not. Fine. Now these are your 20 inter arrival times. Fine. So this is nothing but what this is what is happening there. T1. OK, this is. T2. And uh, this is T3. This is T4 and so on up to how much we have up to we have T20. 
fine. What is capital T now? That is 100. Now, the arrival time are obtained by adding what? The inter-arrival time. So, here you saw we need to do what? T1, comma, T1 plus T2, then T1 plus T2 plus T3, that is cumulative. And these values must be divided by what? That is capital T. So, that is what we will be doing. The arrival time are obtained by adding inter-arrival time, that is T1, T1 plus T2, T1 plus T2 plus T3, and so on. The last number should be T1 plus T2 plus T3, so on up to plus T20. Arrival time can be normalized to what? Okay, 0, 0,1 interval so that the test can be applied. How we can do this? This T1 divided by what? T1 to normalize it. This should be divided again by what? T. And this should be again divided by what? T to normalize the data so that the data belongs within the range. What is the range now? 0, 0,1 interval. Fine, that is what we are doing here. T1 divided by T, T1 plus T2 divided by T and so on. The resulting 20 data points are fine. So you can see here, I have written the 20 data points here. Fine. Now I have taken the value of I. So here I am constructing a table. I am taking the value of I. The I is what? It is ranging how many values? For I equals to 1 to 20. So I am taking the value of I from 1, 2, 3 and so on up to where? Up to 20. Fine. Okay. The second column I'm taking what? That is Ri. Fine. So this Ri is nothing but the normalized values. The normalized values are calculated by what? By using these formulas. This is what your normalized values. Fine. When it comes to when I equals to 1, what is the value we have? It is 0 0.44. Fine. So to get the normalized data, it is 0 0.44 divided by T value is how much? 100. So what we'll be doing now? 0. 44 fine divided by 100 if you do you will get the answer as what 0.004 fine now the next normalized data will be what t1 plus t2 divided by t now here t1 plus t2 add these two 0 0.44 plus 0 0.53 what is the answer you will get this is 7 9 it is 0 0.97 is that correct? Yes. Now, this one is nothing but 0 0.97. So, 0 0.97 divided by what we will do now? 100. What is the answer you are going to get? You are going to get as 0 0.0097. Fine. The next is what? T1 plus T2 plus T3. So, take T1 plus T2 plus T3. Okay. Divided by T. What is the value of T? It is, once again, it is 100. You will get the value as 0 0.031. Like this, you need to calculate this particular column up to how many values? Up to 20 values. Fine. So, when we studied the KS test, the first step when we studied there, it always told that arrange the random numbers in ascending order. See the values here. These numbers are arranged in by cumulatively adding and they are arranged here. Fine. There is no need to do it. You just consider these values. Fine. If you check, they are arranged in ascending order only. Fine. Now then coming to the next one, we need to calculate what? We need to calculate D plus then D minus. So D plus is calculated by I divided by N minus Ri. D minus is Ri minus I minus 1 divided by N. So that is what we are doing here. I by N. Okay. I minus 1 divided by N. Ri minus I minus 1. So this value gives what? Okay. This value gives D minus and this value gives what now? This gives d plus okay now calculate this i divided by n how many values are there 20 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05 2 divided by 20 is 0 0.10 3 divided by 20 is 0 0.15 just like that calculate the complete column we'll get where up to 1 fine here i minus 1 divided by n fine i minus i value is 1 1 minus 1 divided by n is 0 then 2 minus 1 divided by n is 0 0.05 and so on calculate up to how many values 20 values this is the last value we are going to get fine after that calculate what the next column ri minus i minus 1 by n ri is here i minus 1 by n is there so this with uh, this so you'll get minus 0 0.004 this minus this this is the value fine then this minus this you're going to get this the value this minus this you are going to get this value like this 
compute the complete column. The next one is what? I divided by n minus ri. I divided by n is here. Minus ri is there. So what we are going to do now? We are just uh, going to take this value that is I divided by n 0 0.005 minus 0 0.004 minus ri then 0 0.10 minus okay 0 0.0097 you'll get the answer like this again compute for all the 20 values fine after doing this you identify the maximum value from this column which will be the value for d minus find the maximum value identify the maximum value from this which will be the value for d plus Fine. So now identify the maximum value. All are negative here. Only this is positive. So the value of D minus is 0.004. Fine. Now check once again here. This is the highest value. The value of D plus is 0.6450. Fine. So we have D minus that is 0.004. D plus 0.645. Now to calculate D. D will be what? The maximum among these two values, which is the one having the maximum value that is D plus, which is equal to 0 0.645. So here you can see D value is how much now? 0 0.645. Fine. Now after that, what we are supposed to do, we need to find the critical value. That is D followed by, this is the level of significance alpha. The alpha value we are going to consider is what? 0 0.05 level of significance. Fine. Now this is 0 0.05 comma n is how much? 20. So we need to calculate d com that is d of 0 0.05. Okay. What is the n value? N value is 20. I need to calculate this value from the table. So I'm going to take the degree of freedom table. Fine. Now here when I consider D of 0 0.05, so 0 of 0 0.05 for n value how much now? 20. Now 20 is here. D of 0 0.05 is here. This is the second column. Fine. It is nothing but 0 0.294. So D of 0 0.05 equals 20 is how much now? It is okay. 0 0.294. So that is what I have written here. Now compare this value with this value. Fine. 0 0.645 and this one. So since this D value fine, is greater than which value? The critical value that is D of alpha comma n. Okay. This is not exponential distribution. Hence it is rejected. Fine. That is how we are going to calculate it. So this is all about um, the KS test. How this KS test can be applied for which one goodness of fit.